first of this morning in Ukraine, the investigation has been completed now into a string of violent murders that shocked the city of Dnipropetrovsk. Three young men were arrested a year ago and have now been charged with 21 killings. The former classmates who came from prosperous families allegedly admitted that they committed the crimes just for fun. Yulia Popova reports. Over 20 murders in one month. Rumors spread of mania killing young and old paralyzed one of the largest cities in Ukraine, Dnipropetrovsk. Police, however, link the reign of terror to these teenagers. They're not revealing how they caught them, but with mobile phone footage of some of the murders, officers have little doubt of the identity of the criminals. People think they were doing it like a hobby, to have a collection of memories when they get old. The former classmates have been behind bars for almost a year now. It's thought they pleaded guilty to all the murders. Detectives say that when targeting anyone in particular, they just pick people who look like they wouldn't fight back. You see, no one could fear for their life when these boys were offering them a ride. The parents of the suspects refused to believe that children could be killers. It's a manipulation. He's a kind boy. When there were moments that I cried, he was crying with me. He couldn't hurt a cat, let alone a person. I don't know why my son is admitting to these charges. He's an ordinary boy. I think that he must have been intimidated by someone. All these charges have been fabricated. But detectives insist the teenagers acted on their own and planned their attacks carefully. They allegedly used hammers and pipes to knock out their victims. It has also been reported that they practiced on cats first, which was also thought to be captured in one of their mobile phones. The former classmates are charged with 21 murders, which they allegedly admitted to in the course of the investigation. Their parents, however, insist that their children were forced to confess their guilt. The court hearings, scheduled for May, are expected to uncover more details. Yulia Popova, Russia Today, Ukraine.